Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. This is your daily hypnosis session. My name is Jason. Hope you're well. And I've been thinking about what session I would do today, what subject I would focus on. And I thought maybe today I would focus on noisy neighbours. Um, because I've heard, I've seen on the internet, you know, on Facebook, people that have had problems and I've had huge amounts of problems in the past. Things are okay now, uh, pretty much, but in the past I've had issues with very noisy neighbours. Um, so this is a session for those of you that maybe are struggling with uh, neighbours that are particularly uh, sound creating, <laughs> shall we say, uh, and maybe inconsiderate. So, sometimes there's no way of knowing exactly what's going on with the other people, you know, the neighbours, you may not actually have communication with them. Uh, so you may not be aware of what's going on. It may be as simple as they've got children and the children are just being children. And there's no way around that really, um, other than to move. So this session is going to be based on de to having a degree of acceptance of the situation. So, if you can close your eyes, if it's safe for you to do so. And just get in touch with how you physically feel right this second. Become aware of how you emotionally feel right now. Maybe background sounds, which may sound a bit silly to say that considering the subject matter. But that's okay because you can allow them to stay in the background where they belong. Which really brings us to the subject in hand. that there will pretty much always be background sounds and although I use the word noisy neighbours the word noise has connotations the word noise can well pretty much is a negative version of the word sound And although it may really be difficult to have to deal with these kinds of situations, you can deal with it. You have dealt with it. And if you choose to continue, you can continue to deal with it. And if a change is needed, then you can do what's needed to make that change happen, even if it can't happen straight away. You can put the wheels into action to move you into a different environment if that's what's necessary. But isn't the main thing about your your emotional well-being? 
isn't it time that you gave yourself a break allowed yourself to feel differently allow yourself to relax Maybe you can see the situation from a distance, stepping back, seeing it differently. Imagine yourself in the other person's shoes, living the other person's life. And imagine how difficult that is for them. Because if they're doing it on purpose, if they're purposely playing loud music, as an example, to annoy you, if that's how it feels, then imagine what kind of mental states they must be in to be doing things like that. Imagine how much they must be hurting emotionally and how someone has possibly hurt them. How they have possibly gone through some huge emotional trauma themselves to be in a situation of that mental state that they may be in. Maybe there, as you look from a different position, maybe it is just a, a case of them being inconsiderate. Which would suggest that they're maybe a bit oblivious to other people's feelings and oblivious to other people's needs. And imagine what kind of difficult mental states they must have to not be able to be in touch with their own surroundings and to be so limited in their own thoughts how painful that must be for them maybe maybe if they are inconsiderate and they, they don't even consider other people maybe they're not aware maybe there's a lack of awareness looking from even a different angle to the point where you can have some kind of compassion towards those people or that person because they don't have the ability to be aware and that's a sad situation to be in for them. It's a painful position for them to be in. Because without some awareness of what they're doing and the effect that they're having on other people, without that awareness, their life will become more difficult. And it's probable that their life has been very difficult up to this point. Because I'm sure you're not the first person that they've been unaware towards. So whichever way you look at it, they are hurting. They need compassion. brings us to the end of this session. Goodbye.